There's two different ways we can do this, um, as there was with the Achilles with a trainer's tape fan like this, or an elastic fan. In this case, it's entirely up to you which one you use. Um, if you draw this tape job during the <coughs> taping exam, you can use either one, it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter um, for the athlete uh, which one you do. It's a difference in comfort and to some degree um, the stretchy tape, the elastic tape, tends to hold on a little better. Um, the problem with elastic tape is that you're actually going to have to put it on with the elbow flexed almost to 90 degrees. And, and that means if she wants to get the arm down here, she's actually going to have to pull it down. So it's, a, it's a, a little bit weird and some athletes don't like it because the tendency is for your arm to pop up so that the elastic tape is relaxed. And the trainer's tape will allow the, the arm to go right down until it hits the end of its range of motion and then it tightens up. So, you know, the elastic tape has got a bit of give at the end, the trainer's tape doesn't have any, the elastic tape is kind of pulls your arm up and the trainer's tape doesn't. So it's, it's really a lot of it just happens to be about what the athlete uh, prefers to have. So um, again, we're going to put big anchors on here. The size of the anchoring isn't as important when you're doing an elastic fan, but if you're using a trainer's tape fan, you want the whole of the bicep to be wrapped. Um, the fan is going to be here to prevent the arm from extending or hyperextending. Um, so I have to start and stop on the back of the arm. So, um, and remember uh, with our ends that we want to um, finish behind the arm and I'm going to work away from the joint when I'm putting the skin anchors on. Same deal here. I want to make sure that I've got her forearm, um, the whole of the muscle mass wrapped. The elastic anchor, I'll, I'll do it first. I wonder if I can make this one work. Too long. So I get these and now um, take a, a stretched length is usually sufficient. Um, you're going to have to split both ends the way we did with the patellar stabilization. Um, so use your Scissors, give that a big tear. And then I'm just going to lay the top of, of this fan on, on her arm. She's already preparing me with being up. So I'm, I'm just going to uh, put that one on. 
I have the V here above the, uh, the elbow itself. And then um, notice she's, she's got her arm here at 90 degrees, which is good. And I'll just tear this so that I can get that tight and then wrap it around. And it's a good idea to try the elbow as she's doing it right now. Before I, before I put two more on, let's get, it, let's get it right here. So this is pulling out here, but, but we'll be able to fix that. Actually, I'll put another one on. And that's it. I don't want to pull it too hard until I get some other ones on. I'm going to start the V down. Remember how we did that with the Achilles? So that I increase the area of contact with the tape. And then um, I'll do the same thing with this. I'm going to tear that out a bit. I'm going to do this the other way because I want to get this a little bit higher. So. When I'm straightening that now, that's going to be very, very tight at that position. And then I would finish it off the same way by working toward the joint with my top anchors, starting and stopping at the back, and um, finish it off with trainer's tape over the ends. And I'll, I'll do all that when I finish this one off. But I'm, I'm going to uh, make a trainer's tape fan, and then I'll finish it off completely. So making the, the trainer's tape fan, I, I made this in the last class, and you can see that that's too long um, for her. But I want to make sure that I make these ends big enough so that they go from halfway around her arm to the other, to the other side. So I want to make sure that my tape has got half of her arm at least wrapped. And I want it right up to the top. So I can, I can make like a, a loose measurement um, and then just, just build, build the fan so that I've got huge overlaps at one end, almost full width, and maybe a half on, on the other end. There's, remember, no set length on, or number of, of strips. I'm just... I'm going to keep doing it until I've got this thing the way I, I, I want it in terms of width at the, the, the two different ends. There's a lot of, um, I don't think you can see that on the, no. um, there's a bunch of gray in here so I'll, I'll double the edges so that they're nice and strong and then um, just uh, just run a bunch of strips down here to try and make sure that um, it's really going to hold together when it gets under under tension you just just keep keep putting it on it doesn't really matter once you get the basic shape so I've got it wider at one end than at the <coughs> other end 
And this is really important. When you're going to place this on, make sure that you put this right up at the very, very top of the anchoring material. Use as much of the anchoring material as you possibly can because the bond between these is not good. So I'm, I'm going to really press this in and make sure that I give this tape a really good rub to try and make it bond to that um, elastic tape underneath which um, doesn't take a bond very well. So once I, once I get that done, I need a little piece of heel and lace pad here. This is just to protect her skin from the stickum grabbing the skin every time it, it comes down and touches. So I'm just going to stick it like that. And clean up the edges. And now um, I can set the length. So let's, let's just see what happens if I have the length here. And I could actually, um, before I do that, if I want to, you can see how it's coming here. So I'm just going to straighten her arm out a bit and then um, use my elastic tape to finish the top part of this tape job off completely. Get it, get it completely wrapped up the way you want it. And remember this time um, I'm starting away and working toward the joint, opposite direction from the skin anchors. take the trainer's tape and go over those ends with um, just some short pieces of tape top to bottom don't let don't let any of these little edges stick out where uh, something can rub against it and catch it and start unraveling your, your beautiful tape job And once we get these on, then we're really going to smoosh this tape job down again and make sure that we get as much bonding on here as we possibly can. See, I've got a little bit left here. That's going to catch. That's going to catch and start unraveling. So I'm just going to that on and then once again really really swoosh this down so when we come along and test it and I go like this it's not going to unravel you also don't want that to pull out that I should be able to grab her shoulder and pull on it and it won't come out of there if it does it's not going to work so now I can set my length with the bottom part here. So if I were to set it at that length, will her elbow straighten out? Can you straighten it? No. No, it won't straighten out. So that, that's a pretty good length. If it did straighten out, then I would just take it off. flex your elbow a bit more, and then put it down again, try it again, and just keep adjusting it until I get it right. Now, I've got, I've got a bit too much out here, a little bit too long, um, so I can just flip that back, and then put my anchors back down here again, and that will be all tidy. Or I could cut it off with a piece of scissors, that's okay too. 
So I would, I would finish this off exactly the same way as that's done. And um, this is just a little bit more comfortable. So that's the Achilles, and as I say on the exam, it's your choice. Um, whichever one you want to use, you can do.